Hi guys, it's Miss Amanda here, your speech therapist, and I just want to welcome you back to school this year. It is going to be a great year. It's going to be a little different year, but it's still going to be a great year. And so for our first little lesson, um, what I did with your classmates is we talked about the first day of school and some things you might need at the first day of school. And then um, we read two books. They're both about dogs you're right yes we have Clifford the big red dog and Biscuit which dog is this what's his name Biscuit and this one is Clifford yes and both Biscuit and Clifford are going to be talking about going back to school uh, and then we'll talk about our little activity our back to school monsters activity so I hope you have had a great first week back to school and we will get right into it. So we'll start with time for school because this one is about Clifford and um, his sweet owner getting ready to um, start school. Emily Elizabeth, she's getting ready to start school and Clifford's gonna have to get used to her going back to school. So let's see what happens. <clears throat> it says the sun was shining. It was the first morning of summer vacation. Clifford smiled. He was gonna have a great day with Emily Elizabeth. So this is her first day of summer. She's fixed to enjoy her summer. You're gonna find out all that Emily Elizabeth and Clifford did for summer and then what it took for her to get ready to go back to school. What are some things that you did this summer? Yeah, there wasn't really much we could do this summer, but um, I went outside and played in my water hose and we had a slip and slide. Um, we went for walks and watched a lot of TV. So those are some fun things. I hope you had a great summer too. Let's see what Emily Elizabeth and Clifford did. What should we do today? Asked Emily Elizabeth. Go to the beach, play in the park, explore Birdwell Island. What do you think they should do? So I would tell them go to the beach, but let's see what they decide to do. Let's see. Woof, Bart Clifford. Emily Elizabeth laughed. Good, we'll do it all. So they're gonna get to do lots of stuff this summer. First, what did they do first? That's right, they flew a kite. Can you say that word? K -k 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 kite kite starts with K. They flew a kite in the park. Uh-oh, said Emily Elizabeth. What happened to their kite? Yes, you're right. It got stuck in a tree. Who do you think can help get it down? Do you think Emily Elizabeth is going to be able to get it down or do you think Clifford will help get it down? Yes, I bet you're right. I bet Clifford will. Next, where did they go? Are they in the mountains or at the beach? Yep, they're at the beach. Next, they went to the beach, but it was very windy. You see all the wind is blowing Clifford's ears and it's about blowing Emily Elizabeth away. And look at the bird. Oh no, that bird is flying away. And sand flew everywhere. Jetta and Mac ran over and everyone hid behind Clifford. You make a great windshield, said Emily Elizabeth. Look, there's her friend Jetta and there's her dog Mac. And what does Jetta have with her? Do you know what this looks like? Sort of kind of looks like a rocket, but it's not a rocket. What is it? Something that you might take to the beach that would help keep the sun off of you. Yes, you're right. It's an umbrella. She brought an umbrella to the beach. Not because it's going to rain, but because she can open it up and keep the sun from burning her. The wind calmed down. Emily, Elizabeth, and Clifford went exploring. They looked in the store windows downtown. They hiked around the lighthouse. We saw the whole island, said Emily Elizabeth. Wow. 
They look kind of tired after their long day of exploring, don't they? What do you do when you get tired? Right, you lay down and take a nap and go to sleep. Clifford helped her onto his back. Thanks for the ride home, said Emily, Elizabeth sleepily. You're my best friend, Clifford. That night, they camped in the backyard. Your paws make a great tent, said Emily Elizabeth. See, he's making a tent for her to sleep in. Clifford watched fireflies in the yard and he felt happy. So remember first they flew a kite and then they went to the beach and now they're camping and he's watching fireflies. Sounds like they had a pretty good summer. Every day, Clifford and Emily Elizabeth had fun together. They played baseball in the park with their friends. They splashed around in the ocean and found seashells to take home. See, they're finding seashells now. Where do you see seashells? Do you find seashells um, at the beach or in a pool? At the beach, you're right, in the sand. One brisk morning, brisk means it was turning a little bit cooler. It wasn't quite as hot. One brisk morning, Emily Elizabeth said, I'm sorry, Clifford, I can't play today. Uh oh. Let's go, Emily Elizabeth, said Miss Howard. We have to buy new clothes for school. So now it's time for school and Emily Elizabeth has to get ready. So Clifford went to the park with his friends Cleo and T-Bone. But it, and it was fun to play with his friends, but he sure missed Emily Elizabeth. He looks kind of sad, missing his best friend. That afternoon, Emily Elizabeth said, I can't go to the beach right now. I need a haircut for school. Did you get a haircut for school? I did, I cut some of mine off. Clifford waited for Emily Elizabeth in the backyard. They would still have a camp out, wouldn't they? Do you think they're gonna be able to have a camp out? It's the night before school. Are they gonna be able to sleep in the yard? Probably not. She's probably gonna have to sleep in her bed. Let's see. I need to go to bed early, said Emily Elizabeth. I have school tomorrow. Sorry, Clifford. Do you think Clifford is happy or sad? Yeah, he's probably sad. In the morning, Charlie and Jetta ran over. The school bus broke down, said Charlie. And how will we get to school, well, Jetta? No problem, said Emily Elizabeth. Clifford, we need you. What do you think they're gonna ask Clifford to do? They might ask him to push the bus. What else could they ask him to do? Help them get to school, let's see. What is he doing? Yes, he's letting them ride on his back and he's taking them to school. This is great, Clifford, said Emily Elizabeth. Can you take us to school every day? Wolf, Clifford barked happily. Summer vacation was over, but going to school was fun too. So now everyone's happy. All right, so we have some questions in the back of our book. Let's see if we can remember them, okay? It says, number one, where did Clifford and Emily Elizabeth fly a kite? Remember when they were flying their kite? Were they flying their kite at the beach, at school, or at the park? At the park, you're right. They flew it at the park and it got stuck in a tree. Yes, but Clifford got it down. All right, what did Jetta, remember Jetta is Emily Elizabeth's friend. What did Jetta have with her at the beach? Remember she had her dog and then she had one other thing. What did she have with her at the beach? A telephone, an umbrella, or a picnic basket? Yeah, she had the umbrella to keep um, the sun off of her. Now, 
we're going to do um, a sequencing activity and then we will talk some more about starting school which happened first which happened next and which happened last so we're looking for what we what we heard first in our story and then what came next in our story and then what was the last thing that happened in our story so we have these three things and we're going to say which one did first did Emily Elizabeth picked up shells at the beach. The school bus broke down. Clifford watched fireflies. Do you remember what happened first? Yeah, that's right. Emily Elizabeth picked up shells. So first they picked up some seashells. And then when they got home, what did they do? Yes, they camped out and Clifford watched fireflies. And then what happened to the school bus? It broke. That's right. So those are the three things in order. Emily Elizabeth picked up shells, Clifford watched fireflies, and the school bus broke down. Very good job. All right, I hope you liked my book about Clifford getting ready to start school. Now we're going to read about Biscuit, who actually goes to school. Have you ever seen a dog at school? No, me neither. I've never seen a dog get to come to school, but Biscuit wants to go to school. So let's see what happens. Says, here comes the school bus. Woof, woof. Where is the school bus going to take her? She's going to get on the school bus and where is she going? To school. Yeah, that's right. She's going to school. <clears throat> Stay here, Biscuit. Dogs don't go to school. Woof. Uh-oh. Where is Biscuit going? Is Biscuit going to the pond? No, he's still going. Is Biscuit going to the park? Nope, he's still going. Look, who is he following? Yes, he's trying to follow the school bus. Biscuit is going to school. He followed the bus to school. Woof, woof. Biscuit wants to play ball. Woof, woof. See the little boy playing ball in the gym? Biscuit wants to go play with him. They're in their PE class. Now what class are they in? Yes, they're at the library, that's right. And what do we do at the library? We read books, that's right. Biscuit wants to hear a story. Woof, woof because you have to be quiet in the library so that you can hear. Now, where are they? Yes, they're in the lunchroom. They're getting lunch. Biscuit wants a snack. Woof, woof. Oh, Biscuit, what are you doing here? Dogs don't go to school. Uh-oh, she caught him. Oh no, here comes the teacher. Woof. Biscuit's not supposed to be at school. What do you think she should do? Look, where did she put Biscuit? Did she put Biscuit under her desk or in her book bag? Yes, she put Biscuit in her book bag. But Biscuit wants to meet the teacher. Woof. And Biscuit wants to meet the class. Woof. So what does he do? Does he stay in her book bag or does he get out? He gets out of her book bag. Oh no. Biscuit likes school. What does he have in his mouth? A pencil, yes. What do we need a pencil for? Do we need a pencil to drink from? Or do we need a pencil to write with? Yes, to write with so we can write our letters and our numbers and our name. Oh, and look, everyone at school loves Biscuit. Woof, woof. They all want to play with him. The end, so Biscuit had a good day at school. And we hope you had a great first week at school. 
So what we did in class this week is we talked about the things that you would see um, that you would need for school, okay? So we did a scavenger hunt where we talked about where is it. So we found all of these things in our classroom. We found the clock, the tissue box, the books, where we put our backpacks, the computer, the rug that we sit on, the whiteboard that we write on, the trash can so we can throw trash away, and our calendar so that we can know what day of the week it is. So these are some things that you would see in your classroom. And then what I want us to work on is what supplies you might need for school, okay? So we're gonna go over these and we're gonna answer yes or no, okay? It is yes if we need it for school. And it is no, sorry, my light turns off uh, if I'm not moving very much, sorry. So we're gonna answer yes if we need it for school and no if we don't need it for school, if it's not something that the teacher needs. All right, so do we need scissors when we're at school? Yes, yeah, we use scissors to cut our papers at school. All right, what about a shopping cart or a buggy? Do we need that at school? No, where do you see that? You see that at the grocery store. You might see it at Kroger or at Walmart, but we don't need it here at school. What about a backpack? Do we need that for school? Yes, so we can put all of our things in it and bring it to school and take it home. What about crayons? Do we need crayons at school? Yes, we do, we do need crayons at school. What about popcorn? Do we have to have popcorn for our school supplies? No, we don't have to. That's something that we might wanna eat for snack, but we don't bring that to school for our school supplies. What about a notebook? to write things in. Yes, as you get older, a notebook is something that you would bring to school. Do you need pencils at school? Yes, you need pencils at school. And what about a book? Yes, all those we need at school, a notebook, a pencil, and a book. And paper, right? So that we can write on that too. What about a butterfly? Do you have a butterfly at school? Do you need to bring that to school? No, you might see one outside when you're playing on the playground, but you don't need a butterfly for our school supplies. And you don't really need a pail either. That would be something that you might take where? Where could you take a pail and play with it? To the beach or outside in your yard to play in the dirt? What about a lunchbox? Do you need a lunchbox for school? Yes, you sure do. You need a lunchbox to put your food in to eat lunch, unless you're gonna eat school lunch. What about a mitt or a glove for baseball? Do you need that for school? No, that would be something you would need if you were playing baseball, right? What about glue? You need glue? Yes, you need glue for school. And then shoes. Some people need shoes for school if their feet have gotten bigger, um, but some people don't have to have new shoes. What about a rocket? Do you need a rocket to bring to school? No, where do you go on a rocket? To the moon, you're right. So those are all some things that we do need and things that we don't need. So I will post this up so that you can color it and you can color all the things that you need to start school. All right, like I said, I hope you had a great first week and we will be back next week for more fun things to do. And I will see y'all later, bye.